Hi everybody and welcome to the Oracle eBusiness Suite presentation from Neotis. So Neoloads Forms module allows you to test applications that use Oracle technology. Forms is a protocol used by certain Oracle applications to communicate with the server. So with the Neoload Forms module, you can record and playback Forms messages, convert the Forms traffic to XML to make designing scenarios easier, and automatically manage the Forms protocol-specific identifiers. So Neoload sits between the browser and the server, capturing Forms requests coming from the browser, and the Forms responses going from the server back to the browser. And then during the test, Neoload's load generators are going to replicate the Forms requests and validate the Forms responses coming back to the server. So now we're going to record an eBusiness Suite Forms application using Neoload. In this case, an order is being taken. At the end of the recording, we'll see how we can modify the Forms requests to make the scenario dynamic and a little bit more realistic. So we're going to start a recording. We'll rename our virtual user. We'll enter our container. And we'll go to the home page. We're going to log in. And then we're going to navigate. And we're going to access the order management module here. And we're going to select quick sales orders. So now we're in the Oracle Forms part of the eBusiness suite. And we're just going to place a sales order. So we'll go in and add a container. And now we're going to fill in the various fields. We're going to enter an order type. And an ordered item. And then a quantity of said item. We're going to order 10 pieces. And now we'll save the order. and then log out of the application. So we can now log out of the eBusiness website. And quit out of our browser. So now that the recording's over, we're into the post recording wizard. And we're going to search for the dynamic parameters. So the eBusiness parameters found are automatically handled by Neoload. Generic parameters have been found and they are taken into account as well. We'll finish. And now we're going to change the quantity selected for the order. So we're going to flag any requests whose definition contains quantity. And here's the request we're looking for. And we can see the forms binary data converted by Neload into XML and makes it easier to understand and modify. And here we can see the quantity entered when ordering. There's our number 10. And now we're going to change this value using a Neoload variable. So we'll go into our variables manager and create a new variable. We'll make it a list. We'll name it and then we'll add our values. We're just going to use three. And we're going to change it up for each virtual user. And then we'll just insert that variable. And now we're going to check the virtual user's validity. So we'll just go up here, click on that icon. Now the validation process plays back the modified scenario, thus creating a new order with the revised quantity in the eBusiness Suite application. And we'll check this new order later. Perfect, our scenario is valid. Now we're going to find the request containing the modified quantity. So 
So we're just going to flag requests whose definition contains the quantity. And go into our request details and compare the request played during the validation with the one recorded. So the revised quantity has been included in the played back request. And now we're going to go back into the eBusiness application to check the last order received. So we're just going to log in real quick. Go back into the order management tab. So we're going to want to find the last order recorded by the application. And we'll do a search using the customer name. And we'll complete that search. And as you can see, the most recent order appears at the top of the list. And now we're going to check out the order details. So the quantity is 15, indicating that this is the new order. So the changes made in Neil Load have been taken into account in the eBusiness Suite application. And that concludes our Oracle eBusiness Suite presentation. Thank you so much for following. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out. Thanks again.